Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here. I don't exactly know what I'm going to be calling this video yet. I just knew that I wanted to do another elongated eye look. So I did that and then I wanted to do a bright lip. So it's just a very quick, simple, spring glam makeup look. I hope you guys like it. Please subscribe and let's get started. Okay, my hair is still wet. It's drying. I was going to do it before I sat down and filmed and then I just thought, you know what, I don't want to. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna prime my skin with the, uh, blah, 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 blah. why is that so, we're gonna do a different one just because of that. I'm gonna prime my skin with the YSL uh, primer just because it's gorgeous. Just apply this on my face. For my foundation, I'm gonna switch it up. Um, and where's my brush for it? Oh shit, that was just sitting on eyeshadow. Well, we'll see how this goes. This was just sitting on like a, a dark charcoal colored eyeshadow, so hopefully that doesn't go all over my face. Um, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. I haven't used this in a long time. I do have the shade 210N. Hopefully it matches me. I know I normally use 220, um, but my tan is fading, so it should work. I'm just going to buff this in the skin. These foundations from Anastasia are like really, really yellow, I feel. This is the neutral one. I should get like a pink one just because this is still very yellow. This and the Makeup Forever Reboot remind me of each other a lot. Like the coverage, the finish, they're very, very similar. Okay, yeah, this is gonna have to go down my neck. I've been so happy that you guys have been liking my very instructional, detailed, in-depth how-to videos I've been doing again. Sometimes I get a little lost with those because I feel like I've, I've shared all of my tips and tricks and done videos on those detailed things and that's probably the number one request I get is doing more of those videos, but there's only so many I can do, you know? Because I don't really have any new tips and tricks, you know? Unless I just keep sharing the same ones over and over again in the videos and then to me it just gets boring, so I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that because kind of feel a little stuck sometimes. For concealer, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. This is in the shade Porcelain. Popping it underneath my eyeballs. Then I'm gonna go in with my FO3 brush from Sigma and blend it in. I'm gonna use this concealer in a hot minute. I actually don't think I've ever used these two together. They look really good together. And then I'm gonna do a cream bronzer contour situation. I wanna use Bondi Bay from New Six, but I've been using a ton. So I'm gonna switch it up and use the Hollywood Contour Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. Squeezing some of it out and then just buffing this in, kind of just like patting this in actually. And get under here. I think I mentioned before that I don't like to go directly on my face with cream contour products. This one's a little bit different. It's like a mousse and it blends out really easily. It's like a liquidy mousse where going in with like a stick is more of like a, it's like a pasty. I don't know how to explain it. It's harder to blend like a stick rather than like a liquidy cream. So for this one, I go directly on. And then when you're done with this, make sure you close it because I've heard that this leaks. I've never had it leak on me, but I've also closed it every single time because someone told me that before. So um, yeah, do that. <laughs> I want to use a different cream highlight today. This is the Skin Gloss from Dominique Cosmetics. I have the shade Golden Dew looks like this. I think I'm going to take my brush and like pounce into this and then apply it. I think you could also probably just do it with your fingers, but I might try both ways. I'm going to pick it up with a Smith 103 brush and just go directly into it and then just kind of stipple it here on the highlight area. That's pretty. It's very like, that's a very soft like glow from within highlight, which is what I'm really into right now. I'm kind of over the like very beaming in your face highlighters. I just don't think that they really look that good in person. That would look good even if you like don't have makeup on. Very pretty. I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and set all up in here. Oily. And for blush, I'm gonna go into Peachy Keen. This is, I think that's what that is. Is that what it is? Ambering Rose. <laughs> I was totally off. I'm gonna go into Ambering Rose Blush from MAC. For brows, I'm going to go into the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit in shade number three. And 
then I'm going to set them with the Gimme Brow from Benefit, and this is also in shade number three. And then I'm going in with the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC, and I'm going to prime my eyes. Set those with powder. And then for my eyeshadow, I'm thinking I want to keep it pretty simple. Um, I'm going to do the Creme Brulee eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. And lightly bring this into my crease. And then on the tail, I'm gonna do that flicking thing that I did in the Fox video to give a more winged out effect. And connect into the crease here. So it's gonna go winging here, winging here. And I have like that little outline creating there. I'm gonna take Latte as usual. The same thing, except I'm not gonna go in the crease. I'm just gonna do right here on the lash line. I need to tweeze my eyebrows. It has been a minute. Oh my gosh. I'm going into my Sigma L06 and creating a wing with shadow. Putting a little bit of Cheetah Bear to kind of like warm it up. And now I'm gonna add just a little bit of smoke signal, which looks kind of like almost a grayish black, and just get really, really precise here in the point. For mascara, I'm gonna use the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I've been really, really liking this. I feel like it makes my lashes look really good, just like really full, thick, and long. Okay, I think I put on two different styles of lashes this is the one i wanted to apply this one looks crazy unless it just got like messed up in my drawer i do just kind of like throw my lashes in there the one i was going for was um here to slay by velour which are these ones for sure i think these ones are a different like fluffier one so for my lips i want to do like a corally orange color to pull from here, first I'm going to go into Lasting Sensation Lip Pencil from MAC. This is a like a true coral shade, kind of like an orangey coral. Fill it in. I'm going to go into Sushi Kiss from MAC and just pop this on. So I'm just going to take them off <laughs> and do something else because they're really killing my vibe. Okay, I'm kind of into these. These are from Makeup Geek. They're the Charmer, Charmer, Charmer Lashes. I think those lashes look way better than the other ones I had on. I just feel like these are a lot more lightweight. They kind of wing out and go with the wing and they're just um, not so overpowering. I felt like the other lashes I had on just kind of like took over the look and that was the only thing I could look at. So I'm glad I took them off. I hope I didn't mess up my liner too much, but I just think that looks way better, way better. Lastly, I'm gonna spray my face with the Morphe setting spray. Okay, so I just went and did my hair because um, I was looking a little crazy, but this is the final look. I'm going to zoom in so you can see exactly what it looks like up close and personal. I really love the way that it turned out, especially with the different lashes. I'm so glad I switched them out. I just was not feeling the big fluffy ones. I really felt like they just like took away from the look. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is very like fresh yet like sassy at the same time because it is still very glam. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you enjoyed following along and hearing my tips and tricks and seeing how I got this look. Let me know what other spring looks you'd like to see down below in the comment section. Please subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Bye.